I'm declaring a public health emergency of international concern. I've been talking to my colleagues around the world. There seems to be something brewing. There seems to be a new outbreak around the world. So how are you feeling about today? It's taken them three months to respond to my proposal. I don't trust that, Michael. You always think bad of it. We all agree it's a sound proposal. You've already started work on my project? Have you come across any reports of any outbreaks? There have been some new cases come to light in a, in a village in Scotland. COVID-24 is definitely an advanced mutation of your work. One of my colleagues told me that last year, a small village outside of town had an outbreak. We are placing the whole nation under quarantine. Are you here to expose OC? You are a man of science. Don't believe these conspiracy theories. Army vehicles have been spotted in the capital, spreading city-wide panic. Your work has been misused. I'm no scientist, but even I think that this pandemic is based on your work. Why is that so hard for you to understand? Because I've lost everything in pursuit of my work, and now you're telling me that my work has been used to cause a global catastrophe. I can understand. I have blood on my hands. What you're doing is considered to be very dangerous. Can I look at some of the report? You'll put my life in danger, Sean. Who I am is not important. I'm a kind of a specialist who can get hold of information you can't get otherwise. Would I be remembered as someone who brought humanity to its knees? There is absolutely no truth to the unfounded rumours about some kind of outbreak in the northern part of our nation. Please ignore such false news and I implore you to carry on with your life.